Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. So you get different lighting. I turned the light off, it was getting kind of warm in here. And, uh, oh my god, I like it. It's kind of like mood lighting. <laughs> All right, Libra. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you've never been to my channel before, yes, the lighting is slightly different right now. And I'm a little bit of a ham. So let's get started. Libra, um, I'm doing, oh, I love this. It's so cute. The firefly, that's cute energy. Um, I'm working with the uh, Unknown Animal Spirit deck. We're going to pull out a card. It's going to be a person that you know. Well, if I start describing your person, you're like, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> then this video probably won't resonate with you. But that's sort of my way of trying to like, see if it's going to resonate with you. Let's do that. So, it's going to be your person. I'm going to describe them, their personality a bit. Maybe their physical characteristic is, if it comes through. Um, but it's not really like this is the energy they're bringing towards you. It's not that. It's just describing them so you can identify them. And then I am going to pull another card. And it's going to be how they see you. Which is kind of nice to know how they see you. And then I'm going to go to the um, uh, Return of Spirit Oracle deck. And we're going to see what's between the two of you. What's going on between the two of you. And then I'm going to use tarot cards to build it up from there. So let's get started for Libra. Libra's person. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is an interesting card to pull to describe a person. I'm going to do my best. Oyster is your person. This is water energy. You could be dealing with uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Maybe not. They may just have a lot of that in them. Or they just may be a very feeling, intuitive person. I feel like they bring a lot of things to light. They bring a lot of gifts into your life. Surprises too. Things that you don't expect. They surprise you. Um, I feel like to some people this person may seem kind of harsh. They're very different. Whether Whatever it is that they seem like to others, you know them in a different way. And it's... Yeah, they don't expose that to everybody. But you, you do know this part of them, this softer part, I want to say. Like, you know, a lot of people just see the outside part of the shell. They're like, oh, an oyster is so rough and ugly. Ew. But you've opened up an oyster. Well, the, the flesh of the oyster itself is very soft. It's just a muscle, right? It's very soft and, and vulnerable once it's opened up. And, and then the inside of the shell, that is the mother of pearl. Like, it's beautiful. Ooh. So... Yeah, your person may, a lot, of pe a lot of people don't see the beauty inside your person, but you do. Yeah. Oh. They, and they are. They're, um, they have a hard exterior, but they, boy, they're soft inside. They really are soft inside. And they're like a little gift. They're like a little gift in your life is the best way to describe this person. They do surprise you. I want to say they do surprise. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. It's just like, oh, I didn't expect that today. Like, what's going on with you? It's just how I am today. <laughs> they're just, they're, they're feeling, they're very expressive of their feelings. And like I said, in, in their intuition, they're tapped into their intuition. I, I'm just getting there a lot of fun. They're also a lot of fun. Not everybody knows that for some reason. And I think it surprises you. You're like, how do people not know this about my oyster? <laughs> my oyster is a lot of fun. What's going on with people? Okay, so how do they see you? How does this oyster personality person see Libra? How does oyster see Libra? <laughs> That's funny. That is so funny. You know, the more and more I do these readings with this car, these cards, I start to associate certain cards with certain signs. And this one for me is my Libra card. It really is my Libra card. I really get that. Like, but it's a so they see you as who you are. Like, they see that very clearly, which is nice because you see the side of them that most people don't tap into. You both see each other really nicely here. Um, the two cards came out though actually so the hummingbird so this is also someone who's very high vibrational level your vibrational energy is very high um you do try to focus on the positive you try to push away the darkness you know actually it's not even that you push it away it's just your method of operation 
kind of pushes away the darkness. They see that in you. And oh my, and the lion. Yeah, you got it going on. They see you as a, a leader, as someone who looks out for others. Also someone who's very attractive, well looked after, like looking after yourself. The mane is looking good. That's how they see you, Libra. I'm loving these readings this week. Actually, Leo was hard today, but we got through it. And we got through it. Okay, now, oops, they see you very nice. Did you want to know more? <laughs> Do you want it? Oh, I love the way these two cards, and they know. Aww. They feel your attention. They feel your attention, and I think maybe sometimes your little oyster gets into darkness. They kind of go into the dark, and you come to bring the light to them. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful that you come to bring the light to them. That's how they see that. That's how they see you. That's what you are to them. Oh. All right then. Now everything I said about this lion energy is true. I think though sometimes they wish a little more of this energy was directed to them. This is how the cards are sitting on the table. This is like another aspect of you and you do do this maybe in your work or with other people, but they would like a little more of that from you. That's the only thing I would say is what they're sort of, they do, and they like that. They like that aspect of you, the Leo Lion aspect. And it's a fire sign. You know, fire signs are also all about desires. Maybe they would like you to express more desires to them also. Sorry. <laughs> I have a bad habit of cracking my knuckles. It's not going to stop. I think I started it when I was 12 or younger. And I really needed to do that. It was just like... Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to do the... Oh, we didn't do what was between the two of you. Uh, yeah, you wanted more information about your how your person saw you. So I, I did that. Going to go into this deck now and see what sits between the two of you. Like, why is this coming up in a reading? Recognition and assistance. Well, this is interesting. Recognition and assistance. Oh, I think your person needs help. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think that they, you know, because I do feel like this lion energy, this leadership. Remember how I said, like, they like that, they see that, but um, it doesn't feel directed to them. It feels like you, you move this energy. And, you know, we all have little... Uh, masks and labels that we wear for different points in our life like the person that we are in work is definitely not the person you are at home with your spouse right so well I don't know maybe I'm kind of like as you see me that's I'm kind of like trying to remove a lot of those labels but I know that I probably still do display labels at some point um we all do come on right so they want a little bit of this lion label energy to them I feel like they need it you do shine the light, but they need some they need some assistance here. Um, recognition. They are looking for recognition too. <laughs> Just feeling a little bit down and in the dark, I'm getting. Your little oyster is feeling a little bit down and in the dark right now. Um, they need some they want you to recognize their hard work. I really feel like this person is just cute as a button. This oyster person is just cute as a button. I don't know who this is. They are just cute as a button. Oh my gosh. I'm going, there you are at the bottom of the deck, the Tarot de la Nui for you. I'm going to use it for your person. You're going to get the Shadowscape Tarot because you're in the light. They're in the dark, the night. Um, but that's funny how you again are lighting it up for them. Okay, your oyster is looking for some assistance here. Oh, baby. <laughs> The Knight of Wands, remember I said too, like the fire signs, a very desirable energy. It's, you know, it's hot, it's heavy. It's, yeah, bring it to me, honey. That's what the oyster wants. Do some of that player energy on me, is what they're asking you, Libra. Your oyster wants a little bit of that player energy. Come on, come on. I need some recognition and assistance. I don't know what they need assistance with, but that's for you to figure out. Um... Oh, yeah. 
the five of cups that's what they need assistance with they're feeling down they're really your little oyster is definitely feeling down they're feeling like they've missed an opportunity here um this could be romantic i'm also feeling like for some of you, I feel like this is a partner you have now. Like this is a very stable relationship you're in now for some of you. And there's something else that has nothing to do with your relationship. But this has got them feeling kind of down and they need your fire. They need something from you to kind of help them come out of this. That's kind of like, come on, baby. That's what partnership is for. I need this from you now. Don't bring your light. Bring your fiery lion self towards me. Um to get me out of this five of cups i feel like i've missed an opportunity i haven't done something as well as i could have done it um but for others of you this person i feel like is maybe no i don't really feel like there's some separation here if there is it doesn't feel like either one of you wanted the separation like the energy that you both have for each other is so wonderful i feel like there might have been other circumstances that if there was separation no contact that um that were out of your control that caused this to happen yeah they're really down in the dumps your little oyster is down in the dumps what do they feel like they missed an opportunity on here oh interesting the seven of wands and the temperance card i let you look so with the seven of wands and the temperance card you know what are they feeling like they missed an opportunity on here i feel like they misjudged a situation they were a little more defensive than maybe they should have been whether this again i'm getting two stories here because it feels like there's something's got them down that has nothing to do with your relationship so um i feel like they were maybe more defensive than they needed to be and it's caused a little bit of an imbalance they're trying to get balance back um in themselves they balance back in themselves and also with you know other relationships around them they felt on the defensive and for for others of you where there was some sort of separation going on between this partnership yeah maybe they yeah i think they know that they saw things kind of incorrectly they weren't looking at it from the best angle and they really want to bring like balance and harmony back into you know moving this relationship forward in a very positive way that can be um maintained long story short they want you back <laughs> they want you back Libra. they want you and they want you to bring like all that player energy where like they're just like oh, bring me out of this darkness <laughs> like look at this darkness look at how dark well the temperance has a teeny tiny bit of light look at all the darkness there and this is what they want you to bring <laughs> them like come on bring that light that you always bring to me libra is what they're saying but bring it in a different way honey <laughs> don't be bringing in like the kumbaya stuff bring like the kundalini stuff that's <laughs> what they're saying bring it on baby okay <laughs> so funny look at the bottom there's a lion yeah yeah they want you to t they're hoping you'll take the lead on this You're a cardinal. Go take the lead. You're a cardinal sign. Go for it. Do it. You can do it. Okay. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, they do. Eight of Wands, communication, moving towards one another, getting into gaps. Just do it. Do it. I'm going to put that with you there. Okay, recognition. There, something needs to be recognized here. What needs to be recognized? Oh, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and she holds a key to a gate. Oh, I don't think I've ever pulled this card. We're going to look at this for a little bit. Going to look at this for a little bit. I'm just trying to get in a focus. It seems to focus better when I put the whole card in the frame sideways. I need tarot cards that are this way to fit the screen. <laughs> yeah, they should make, someone should make a deck of tarot cards that are like this. It fits the screen better. What needs to be recognized? Ooh. I think she recognized, isn't that interesting? I don't usually say she because, you know, whoever's watching, but take it how it resonates. That just came right out so quick. It's when I start thinking about what I'm going to say that I know that I'm not being the vector anymore. So that came out, take it. Um, she thinks that or believes you have the key 
to, yeah, this person really sees you as someone who opens the gates for them, like the gate to their heart, the gate to stability and happiness. The Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing energy, very um, stable. I believe that this person kind of is, but they're just in a tough spot right now too. You may also be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. The Sagittarius with the Temperance card, too. Um, they really want you to come in and nurture them right now. It's just the message that I'm getting. The recognition. Please recognize that I need your nurturing. <laughs> I think they're doing, like, it's body language stuff. This person is really doing it with the body language. Like, look at that. That's all about the body language right there. I have the key. Earth signs can be a little bit like that, too. They may not come right out and say, I need you, I want you, I love you. It's just like, can't you tell? Can't you tell? I can't tell. Just tell me. Like, you're Libra, right? Like, give me some direct information here. <laughs> so now you're getting it. Now you're getting the direct information, Libra. You're, yeah, see, your oysters just, I know what I do. I just sit here and I glow. I just glow, and my Libra will just know when I need them to come to me. <laughs> Because they're very intuitive, so they think you are too. Assistance. They need assistance with something. Oh, interesting. I wonder what those are. Oh my gosh. Well, something needs to end here. And I get... They want to run to you with open arms, man. I'm telling you, they really do. You just need to do, like, I don't know. It's like, I'm getting this message, this one thing that you do. And that is enough for them to know it's safe to come in. And they will just come right in for your light and your lust <laughs> with this lion energy. The death card has come in. So now Scorpio has come into the party. So we have the death card. So something is ending. They, the, the assistance they need here is ending something. Ending, like... <laughs> like away from you they just want your light so much right now libra it's so sweet their arms are open like usually um with the seven of swords you know somebody is sneaking away moving away from responsibility or just i don't want to go there right now this person is like open arms i'm i'm leaving where i've been that's the death that's the end here i come libra <laughs> i'm coming <laughs> i'm coming my love here i come so cute. I'm telling you, this person is cute as a button. They really are as cute as a button, Libra. And the Six of Pentacles, harmony and balance, right? So let's bring in that harmony and that balance and that stability. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, let's go to you. I really like your oyster. I hope that's okay. I hope they didn't do anything bad to you. If they did, I really don't think they meant it. There's just, I just keep getting, they are, they are as cute as a button. This person is so damn cute. You know what, too? Oh, wow, isn't that neat? I think this person might be a friend for like, yeah, so it, it's hard when it's a general because you do get all these energies that start coming in. So don't dis, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Don't dis, uh, don't dis, I don't know. I can't think right now. I don't, don't, anything that I've said in the past don't say that, 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 just keep that. That's still the message. But there's a secondary message that came in here with this cute as a button. This person is a very good friend and you're just like, they are so cute. They don't want you to see that anymore. Cause they, they're asking you to, uh, <clears throat> yeah, okay, you know, <laughs> come on. Please see this other side of me, I think too, for some of you is what they want here. Um, what is that phrase? lady in the streets um freak in the sheets you know and maybe because she's cute as a button but you come to me my libra oh nine of wands i think you're tired with <laughs> i think this person has tired you out a little bit with um i don't know maybe they're always leading you on maybe they're like and then they're like, ah, I gotta go. It's like, what are you doing? Like, you told me to come over here and now... 
Knight of Wands, or, yeah, you know, so I put this card down, and it's actually, it's looking, as it's sitting, it's looking towards their pile. It's like, yeah, I'm tired of this too. Let's just go in and have some fun. Let's, let's just, let's just do this. Let's bring my light back, and my fiery energy into your life. There you go. I'm actually really enjoying this um, reading Libra. Thank you. Um, Leo was heavy. It wasn't heavy. It was complicated. And Virgo, shoot, I didn't write it down. I was going to write them down as soon as I finished doing them because then I forget what they are. Okay, anyways. Um, Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the World. Well, somebody really knows what they want with the Nine of Cups here. I think you do. I think you really know what you want. You really know what you want. I think you may have been really focused um, on, like, monetary stuff, work, uh, trying to get things going, trying, like, investing a lot of yourself into something to, to, you know, start, like, to get that seed growing, to get something growing, you know, so for the long term here, like, let's... And they're hoping you can kind of take some focus away. And I think you know, like this Nine of Cups, this person really is deep in their feelies, deep in their feelies and their understandings of, you know, what they want on a deeper level. The wish fulfillment that they want. Your wish is my command, baby. The world. I, I think that there's a really good opportunity for a new cycle here with you. This with Here with this person with you. This, this person is really ready for your energy right now. If they haven't been in the past. Because with this Nine of Wands, it feels like you're a little bit ugh, ready to release the burden of this. And they're just running with open arms in the depiction of these cards. Like, you are their light. They are desiring you. They are wanting you. <laughs> they're trying to tell you with their body. This cute as a button person is just like, how do I tell them? <laughs> I can't be a naughty girl until I get them. Anyways, I have to go. Let's go lunch monitor kindergarten. Let's just get out of this energy. <laughs> well, that's not yet. I not yet for you. I'm in it for you, but then. a journey of love, Oracle deck for Libra as we exit this really cute as a button reading. Huh, interesting. You know, we were just talking about the you know the seed here. The Six of Pentacles, right? I was talking about this card. You've been really working hard on something. It felt kind of workish. I think it still does for some of you, but nurturing this seed, and it's kind of cute because you've got this Seed of the Heart, number 25. You know, focus, Seed of the Heart, number 25. It does look like that little plant growing, doesn't it? Ooh, and Shakti, number 19. That's pretty hot and sexy. Da yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, your oyster needs a little hot and sexy from you right now. Journey of love. Okay, the seed, seed of the heart, number 25 is the first one that I saw here. What does this oracle bring you? Oh no, I'm going to this right now. I'll learn my numbers one day. Okay, this oracle brings you guidance. The right conditions are being brought to you, the most perfect support for your own divine blossoming. Trust. Know that the seed in your heart knows how to grow and life supports it. It is also a sign that something in your relationships is sprouting. A new energy. Don't be afraid to try new ways of relating now as your life energy supports it. That's kind of cool. I think that comes around too for people that this has been a friend and it's time to bring that up a level. They don't want to be cute as a button to you anymore. Shakti, number 19. This oracle brings you a message. You are going through energetic shifts in your subtle anatomy. Because your energy body and physical body have already begun to merge with each other, the energetic shifts will affect your physical body too. It is always wise to consult a healthcare practitioner. But at least some of your physical challenges at the moment 
from aches and pains to tiredness are due to this energetic awakening. Take responsible action as you feel is necessary, such as tending to your physical well-being with health care that feels supportive, but also remember to rest. Get some time in nature and nurture your body as it is spiritually awakening into greater light. I love that. Yeah, you get that, right? Like, think about a child. Think about how aware a child is of their body and their functions. Like, they're not very aware. It takes them a while. And that never changes. Like, we become more and more connected. Like, your energetic spiritual self is trying to connect to that body. And kids are klutzy. And well, babies, like, they keep their fists, like, tight. You know, and I think that's also a, just an evolutionary thing to to protect the digits, right? To keep the, because they don't have control. I used to watch my son like his legs in his little baby Bjorn chair, like boom, 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 boom. Um, yeah, like it's, and that's what you're going through. You're going through another stage of that where your energetic, your soul connection is connecting on even more levels with your body, more awareness of what's going on with your body. I think your oyster would like to explore that with you. All right. Uh, Libra, I have to get out of this energy and go hang out with the kinders. So have a great day. Thank you for allowing me to do this reading. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.